well, you might have noticed that I have several objects on this table. I have a ball. I have a USB cable. A light bulb. The toaster. And a glue. Okay. So I'm going to press out these little cards that say no and say yes. So I'm going to press out one to each and every one of you, okay? Here you go, Carlitos. Here you go, Kevin. Let's look at the ball first. So who here has ever played with a ball? Show me with your papers that I passed out. I want to see um, if you have ever played with a ball, raise up your yes. And if you have never played with a ball, raise up your no. So let me see. Okay, well, all of you have played with a ball because you're going to be, right? Yes, okay. So let's think about mechanical energy for a little bit. Who here remembers what mechanical energy is? Raise up your yes or your no. Hmm, okay, let's see. Carlitos, what is mechanical energy? What do you remember about mechanical energy? Energy when an object is moving. Yeah, okay. So, does anybody have anything else to add to that? Um, nobody? Nobody? Okay, so let me expand on what Carlito said. It's energy when an object is in motion, but it can also be due to its position. So even if it's still, it, it still contains mechanical energy, and then once it's moving, it turns into energy that's in motion. So mechanical energy is the energy that an object has when it's in motion or due to its position. And right now what I'm doing is basically an example of mechanical energy. The ball is moving around. Now let's take a look at the toaster. Who here has a toaster in their house? Raise up your yes, raise up your no, if you don't have one. I see, so not everybody has a toaster. Um, so somebody who does have a toaster, Kevin. Kevin, when you put a bread inside the toaster and you take it out, how does it feel? Hot. Hot, right? And you touch it and it's really warm okay so thermal energy is basically the energy that is generated when particles are moving really really fast so the reason why you feel the, the bread and it's warm is because its particles are moving very quickly let's see let's try to draw it Let, I'm gonna draw two containers they're both going to have liquid inside. So this one's going to be juice, and this one, coffee. So we have juice and coffee. When we have the juice, the particles, the atoms, they're not moving very quickly because the juice is cold. The milk. When you have coffee, which is usually hot, you have the particles moving very, very quickly. And that is how thermal energy works. Particles moving really fast creates heat. When the particles are not moving that fast, it's either just regular temperature or it's cold. And in the toaster, it needs to get really, really warm so that the bread can come out nice and toasty. Okay? Does that make sense? Raise up your yes, raise up your no. If you have any questions, um, just ask me. Does that make sense to everybody? I see a lot of yeses. Yes? Okay, good. 